the son, the one, the prodigal kind. Ain't nothing but frivolity and fun on his mind. Inheritance, in a sense, sitting, gathering dust, grieving a tradition, stipulating he must wait for the date the old man would croak, but his wait for the estates got him coming up broke. So discontent, he'd circumvent the rules he'd come to resent, demanding a percent, asking Pop to relent, and off he went, content on a sinful descent, prodigal, defined as recklessly extravagant. So there he is, drinking, chilling, at a house of ill repute, already took a shot at every prostitute. His selfish pursuit, it ain't bearing no fruit. He's running out of loot, life dropping like a rock down the laundry chute. Fear and bereavement filling his chest, depressed. There's no rest for the weary. But as he lie there at the bottom, he was struck with the theory, you know, my pop's workers do better than I'm doing here. His next move was regrettably clear. He came walking down the path, back to town, slow, head hung low, full of shame, for he disgraced the family name, expecting Pop to cast righteous blame. But he didn't. There the old man stood, as he had been every day since his precious kid left, praying silently with a heart bereft, and at the vision of his son, he breaks into a run, screaming to his servants, prepare a feast, get the fatted calf and straight up slaughter that beast. And the boys, I'm sorry, they fell on deaf ears as Pop's kisses pierced their way through cascading tears. Robes draped the boy's shoulders, on his finger a ring, sandals on his feet, the treatment of a king, no judgment no punishment, no admonishment, no rage, no feelings from the past the boy's visage could not assuage. His father thought him dead, but look, he lives. The warmth to his heart this gives. His boy's voice a joyful sound, he was lost, but now he's found. Prodigal, a word used in the negative when understood loosely, can also mean the act of giving profusely. What was done for the prodigal son has been done for everyone by another son, the only one that really counts, the one unjustly hung on Calvary's mount. It's really a trip. It may in fact seem odd that our prodigal story was written by our prodigal God.